so you found yourself in a debt maze. It's like being locked in an endless game of financial whack-a-mole, right? But don't worry, we're going to discuss two common tactics that can help you get out of debt. The debt avalanche and the debt snowball. What is a debt avalanche? Consider the debt avalanche your cool, calculating approach to debt management. It's similar to planning a mountain climb, beginning with the most difficult peaks. This technique prioritizes paying off debts based on their interest rates. So if you have a credit card account that is accruing interest quicker than you can say, ouch, that's where you direct your efforts. What is debt snowball? Imagine you're out in a snowy wonderland, rolling snowballs down a hill. This is the debt snowball for you. Instead of fretting about interest rates, you address your debts one at a time, beginning with the smallest. Knock off that small man first, then move on to the next, and you'll be on a roll in no time. Pros and cons of each method. Now let's break it down. The debt avalanche is all about preserving your hard-earned money in the long run. By focusing on high interest bills first, you can reduce the amount of interest you will pay over time. It's like becoming your own financial ninja, cutting away at those annoying interest rates. But here's the catch. It does require some patience. If your highest interest loan is also the largest, it may feel like you're chipping away at a boulder with a toothpick. Furthermore, for some people, confronting the big guns right away may be intimidating. On the other hand, the debt snowball is like a cheerleader, rooting for you with each small triumph. Starting with the minimal debt allows you to get quick gains early on. It's like crossing things off your to-do list. Each one provides a small boost of desire to keep going. Of course, the negative is that you may wind up paying slightly more in interest altogether, but hey, if it keeps you motivated and going forward, it can be worthwhile. So what method is best for you? Now comes the fun part, deciding which technique works best for you. It's like picking a player in a game. Do you prefer the cool measured approach of the debt avalanche or the rapid wins and motivation of the debt snowball? Think about your financial goals and personality. Do you believe in conserving every penny or do you rely on small triumphs to keep going? There is no one-size-fits-all solution here. It's all about discovering what works best for you. How does the debt avalanche work? Consider a collection of debts, each with its own interest rate. It might be a little overwhelming, right? Fear not. The debt avalanche is here to save the day. Here's how it works. Using the debt avalanche, you act like a shrewd financial ninja, carefully targeting the debt with the highest interest rate first. Yes. That's the one sucking away your hard-earned money faster than you can say, ouch. You're not just paying minimal payments and hoping your fingers when you concentrate your efforts on dealing with high-interest debt. Oh no, you're slicing away at the principal like a boss, chipping away at it until it's nothing more than a faint memory. One of the most appealing aspects of the debt avalanche is that it functions similarly to a money-saving machine. Seriously, paying off high interest bills first will save you a lot of money in the long run. And who doesn't enjoy saving money? Am I correct? Plus, once you've overcome the first debt mountain, you'll be able to tackle the next one with renewed confidence. It's like leveling up in a video game. Each triumph brings you one step closer to financial freedom. But hey, let's be honest for a moment. The debt avalanche is not all rainbows and unicorns. Sure, you're saving money over time, but it can feel like a sluggish process, especially if your highest interest debt is also the largest. And let us not forget about motivation. It might be difficult to keep motivated when you're facing a pile of debt and progress feels slow. But remember why you began this adventure in the first place. Financial freedom is worth the climb. So there you have it, the dirt on the debt avalanche. It's like approaching debt with a laser-focused technique, cutting through the clutter and getting right to the heart of the situation. Stay tuned as we explore the world of the debt snowball next. It's going to be an exciting adventure. How does the debt snowball work? Consider this. You're standing at the base of a snowy hill, surrounded by various sized snowballs, each indicating a debt you owe. The debt snowball now uses a different strategy than the debt avalanche, which was concerned with interest rates. The debt snowball is all about momentum, baby. 
you begin by addressing the smallest debt first, regardless of interest rate. Yes, you heard that right. It's all about the quick wins. So you roll up your sleeves, secure your scarf, and get to work. By focusing your efforts on paying off the smallest debt, you can gain significant momentum. And once you've crossed the first hurdle, you take all of the money you were paying towards that debt and apply it to the next lowest one. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, getting faster and bigger with each loan you pay off. Now let's discuss why the debt snowball is so cool. First and foremost, those rapid triumphs serve as fuel for your debt crushing fire. Nothing compares to the satisfaction of marking a debt off your list and knowing you're one step closer to financial freedom. The debt snowball is all about motivation. When you see those smaller debts go one by one, it's like getting an injection of adrenaline directly into your financial soul. You begin to believe that just maybe you can accomplish this. Let's not pretend that the debt snowball is ideal. While rapid wins boost morale, they may not be the most cost-effective long-term plan. Prioritizing smaller loans over higher interest ones may result in larger interest payments over time. Let's not forget about the larger debts looming in the backdrop. It's easy to get caught up in the debt snowball and overlook those high interest predators waiting to strike. But as long as you understand the trade-offs, you can make an informed judgment about whether the debt snowball is for you. Factors to consider when deciding between the debt avalanche and the debt snowball, there are some important factors to consider. First, let's discuss your financial condition. Take a close look at your debts. What are their interest rates? How much do you owe each one? Understanding the lay of the land is critical for selecting the optimal strategy. Are you someone who values rapid wins and tangible progress? Or do you have the patience and discipline to tackle high interest loans first, even if it means making slower early progress? Knowing yourself is essential for keeping motivated in your debt repayment path, personal preferences and financial goals. Now let us get intimate. What is your financial goal? Are you determined to pay off debt as soon as possible, even if it means tightening your belt and making sacrifices along the way? Or are you more interested in finding a long-term solution that allows you to enjoy life while working toward debt freedom? Consider your long-term financial goals. Are you saving for a significant purchase, such as a home or a dream vacation? Or are you concentrating on increasing your emergency fund and saving for retirement. To ensure you're on track, your debt repayment approach should be aligned with your overall financial goals, making the decision. So how do you make the final decision? There's no one size fits all solution here, guys. It eventually comes down to what works best for you and your specific situation. If you're looking to save money in the long run and have the patience to handle high interest loans first, the debt avalanche could be your best option. On the other hand, if you thrive on rapid wins and require extra motivation to keep going, the debt snowball may be the way to go. You don't have to remain with one strategy forever. Life is all about adaptability. Perhaps you start with the debt snowball to obtain some fast victories, then transition to the debt avalanche once you've gained some traction. Or perhaps you discover a hybrid strategy that takes the best of both worlds. The last confrontation between the debt avalanche and the debt snowball. Whether you're chopping away at high interest loans or tackling them one snowball at a time, the key thing is that you're gaining control of your money and working toward a better debt-free tomorrow. So go ahead and choose your course.